You're listening to the number one spot for markets and trading. Market Traders TV. Learn some shit. Um, most important thing in trading, um, in, in my opinion, and I think in most traders' opinion, is looking at risk. Is trying to understand is trade I'm going to enter. How much do I lose if I make the wrong trade? If, if, I, if it's the correct trade, I am fine. I make money. But how much do I lose if it's the wrong trade? Because in, in, in trading, especially if you are new, you will be making more wrong trades than right trades when you're first starting. Okay, so you got to understand what your risk is. Most people look at a risk. I personally from look at risk from 0.1% to 1%. What that means is whenever I'm entering a position, whether it be a long position or a short position, I try to understand where I will have my stop loss first. So let's just, let's just do it step by step. Okay. Let's just use this as the level. Let's say I want to take a long here, right? It's a level to hold. I want to take a long here. What I will do in this risk is because throughout this level, throughout this level, this is the previous high. Okay. This right here is the previous high. Throughout this range, this was resistance. And this happens a lot in, in any market. Resistance tends to become support. It is a level where people thought, okay, this is where I'm going to sell. If we achieve a verb it, what tends to happen in the other side is people will use it as a level to buy. A resistance becomes support and support becomes resistance. If achieved. Now, let's say, let's do this as an example, hypothetical here. Just looking at risk. Would you actually take this trade? Probably not. But let's look at, let's look at it in terms of hypothetically. We actually have that trade on the stream. Oh, sh okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, anyway, the reasoning behind I personally wouldn't because uh, it's a nice little liquidity pop around these levels. So most likely we will dump to these levels if we do and then do a little pop to the top side. Like we did the same thing here. There's a lot of liquidity around these levels. There's a lot of stop losses to be hit. So it's a liquidity pop and then a drop and then the same thing to the other side as well. It just makes sense because there's a lot of liquidations here. Anyway, let's continue on. Um, I will, let's say I have made a decision to go long here because of multiple reasons. And I have made a decision to take a profit. Sorry, a stop loss here, right? I have made that first. And then I have, I know what my risk is going to be. Okay. Because I know that because that is the risk I will always take when I'm taking a trade and use this, let's say as a 1% risk. So what that basically means is you have a portfolio of a certain amount now. When it comes down to this level, you are going long on it. You are buying into it and you use this as risk. What this means is if this trade does not work out, if you actually get stopped out or you exit the trade because of a stop loss, you will actually lose 1% of your whole account. Okay. 1% and 2% are the little thing, little golden percentages that most people use because you can make a mistakes 50 60 times before you lose 50 60 percent of your account obviously you will actually lose much more than that overall because of compounding but still the, the basic picture is you can make much more mistakes and not blow your account by taking limited risk okay and this is the most important thing in in trading it's not about how much money you're going to make out of it. When you're trading, as in entering a trade, the most important thing in your mind should be, where is my stop loss? What is my risk? And if that stop loss gets hit, how much do I lose? And if you have that figured out, then you start looking to the top side. Then you start looking at, okay, what is my target? What do I want price to achieve? What do I want price to pump to? What level should it go to? So your first train of thought should be always about risk. Because that is where the big money is. That in the long term is how you're going to make consistent gains.
Otherwise, you're going to be one of those one hit wonders that you make a lot of money one day and you lose 60, 70% of it the next day. You don't want that. You want to have consistent earnings on your trades. You want to be consistent. You want to be compounding. Right? And this understanding risk is the most important part of trading. And this is where discipline comes into play. Right? Sometimes, most of the times, your stop loss might not be this close. It might be pretty wide. Right? And price might come down all the way to here. Uh, but you know, if this if you get stopped out, you only lose still 1%. Do you make a decision just to close this trade where it's at right now? You have not been stopped out yet. Do you want to close it? No, because this is where discipline comes into play. You have made a decision before entering the trade to have a stop loss here because of reasons, because of logical reasons that you have thought through TA and basic understanding of TA. Just because price has done something unexpected you do not want to do what is called FOMO, right? Because this is a FOMO method. What you have done here is you have a fear that this trade will get stopped out. Just because you have that fear, you have that emotional tick in the back of your head, you have stopped this trade in its tract. What it could be is we could have gone really close to it and not been stopped out and it could have pumped. You don't know. You don't know anymore. You don't know your trade was valid or not. Right? And that is a no-no in trading. You should always follow your plan because you have made a decision beforehand looking many looking at many things and in this in this slight time you have made a decision to close it. Why? Because you got that little tick in the back of your head going um, yeah, I might be wrong, right? What makes you think you are wrong? This is the emotional side of trading. And this, to help with this, you got to have an understanding of trades, an understanding of markets, understanding of levels. And this is where you get your uh, skill and experience from. Right? So, for the last half an hour, you have been searching levels and searching trades, and then in the last 10 seconds, you made a decision to close it. That is an impulsive decision. You should not be making that sort of impulsive decision. That is fear, and that should not exist in trading. You should leave the trade. If you get stopped out, you get stopped out. You have already understood what your risk is. You have already understood and realized that if you get stopped out, you lose 1%, and you have taken that in the chin. Why will you change? Why should you change? Because the next time, do you know what's going to happen the next time? Right? It's not about one, one trade or two trades. It's about thousands, of trades, about hundreds of thousands. What's going to happen next time is this trade is going to pop in your head. And you're going to be like, hmm. Yeah, I closed the trade here. Um, actually pumped. So what am I going to do this time is... I'm going to have a wider stop loss. I will change my risk. That will happen. That will happen to you. You're listening to the number one spot for markets and trading. Market Traders TV. Learn some shit.